This is Guns Crushing It. Today I will be doing a Mow My Lawn 2 tutorial. So the main thing about this game is literally you just hit, um, like, hit the grass. Whatever, whatever you want to say. Um, it depends on what mower you have. So like, you start out with this basic mower. Um, this basic mower, um, like, so if you look at the bars down here, there's these two bars. So one says defeat Kyrama, uh, which is a mega boss, and it says 27.797% on the other one. So the second one is for a specific, um, specific mower that you get after um, this mower that I currently have. Now, with, with that, you just get more trimmings, which, um, the trimmings are important in the game to prog progress, and also, there's this bar up here, uh, as you can see, what I'm pointing at, and it, um, the more you hit the grass, or whatever you want to say for it, um, the more this bar fills up. As you can see, it's kind of moving up. Now, once you fill up the bar, then you get a mini game or a mini game boss. I'm saying that because uh, there's actually mega bosses, so I don't want to like kind of like correct over another thing that's already in the game. Now, today we're just going to be like going over the basics and what you can do, like secrets or whatever. So we'll start out with our secrets. So. First, we'll do this one. So if you're on computer, you can go over to this pillar right here and press L. Now you'll have this little red bubble around you. So if you press Q, then you can sprint. Now you can like jump over that grill and then do like a little slide. Then you can get over here, which there's a secret in he here. Um, I just died because the bar filled up and I was back here. So that's good a tip just to make sure like, oh, no, no, uh, ah. Now that's definitely important about the game. So you definitely don't want to do what I just did. Um, cause it's definitely really annoying. Cause then other people get that bubble. Now, when you grab that bubble, um, you get this multiplier. Now, when you get the multiplier, oh my god, what is he doing? Um, when you get that multiplier, which is, the multiplier is over here next to menu. Now, the multiplier helps you get more trimmings. So, like, you can hit the gr uh, grass, and then you'll get more trimmings um, than, like, you usually would. So, like, as you can see, I have 62,000, um, multiplier, and that will help me a lot with whatever, like, I need to use it for. So, like, this, which is the Baleful Ancient. Now, that gets us back into what I was talking about, these. So, this is, uh, for a mega boss. A mega boss is once you, uh, reach level 12. So once you reach level 12, you can go into this little door, and then you can go through a portal. Then that portal leads you to a place where um, you can um, defeat bosses, and those bosses lead to, to XP and tools that you might um, need to get through whatever um level you have so also the other important thing is levels so the levels are important because um because levels help you progress in the game too and perfect timing so these are the mini game mega bosses what they do is they like they give you xp and that XP can help you progress in the game. Um, and that's pretty much a lot of the basics. Oh, one more thing um, is that 
there once you fill out the bar there's also mini games those mini games also lead like the bubble that um that i showed you guys that was a mini game the mini games like lead to like um what i was saying like xp and stuff or um or like multiplier or other stuff like that um like other like currencies and then if we you press menu then it shows like all these these three little things in like achievements so like like little like achievements that like badges that you got and then there's also like it shows your trimmings grass mode your level x exp so like 2455 out of 9415 once you get this amount whatever amount it shows here then you can level up and then it shows like your kills 437 i'm not very sure what that means and then it like shows your character and what um like what mower you have right there then if you go to inventory it just shows all the things that you have all the saws that you have all the energy that you have magic blades and boss then if you press shop it shows everything that you can buy so like after this right here after i uh, defeat that boss then i'll get that and then i can get the flak blaster which is even better than the retributor which is what you get after the boss then also in the shop it shows the gold which shows like the gold you how much gold you have your like how you can like upgrade your sprint so and then when you press q or on mobile when you press the little sprint button, it will, you'll like, uh, use your sprint, like, your sprint will go up faster than, uh, usual. Um, and then you can press trimmings just to, like, go back to the shop. And then there's the stats, which I already went over. Then, another thing about the game is there's tasks. Tasks are, like, um, for, like, so, like, uh, mow the mow um, twelve thousand grass, and like I have nine thousand, and then like kill four bosses. I have two, and kill Franklin, Franklin, and the pro boys one time, times, whatever, whatever they say. Whatever. Um, but you can win instantly for Robux, but nah. It's better just to do it. And then also you get rewards for doing it. So like 6,000 XP, multiplier 225, and gold 6. So that's a pretty good uh, task that I got. And then if you press shop, it's pretty much like a shortcut instead of just going to menu. So like you press menu and then press shop, but you could literally just press shop here. Then there's the dungeon, which the dungeon is just like something for level five where you can defeat um, little like like skeletons and all that um, for XP. And then there's the mega bosses, which I'll go over in the end of the video. And then there's lawns. So there's the 2013 lawn. So that that was like when like, it, the, the game first came out in 2013 and then there's the hell church which is kind of like just a church you know um and now we're gonna do a double boss so whenever you see like one uh one of the bosses there then there's always going to be one right there so the double bosses um always like kind of like double your um xp like when you kill them both so it's actually pretty op to have two uh, mega bosses uh, but there's definitely like a high chance that you're gonna like die a lot on uh double bosses because like you want to like focus on one boss mostly but like it's kind of hard to do that when there's two of them. But once you kill like one of the easier bosses, then it's easy to kill the other one. Now, let's talk about the mega bosses now. So, 
the mega bosses uh oh i can't do it right now oh i guess in the meantime so there's this grill um after like you like kill a lot of um you kill i think five i think it's five uh mega uh, uh mini game bosses you'll get this um this grill will open and then food will come out and the food gives you XP multiplier or whatever. Um, and also, like after bosses, like you also might get like an achievement by doing something. So like a specific boss, you might get an achievement depending on the boss, though. So like you can press uh, stats to look at your ba uh, like badges. So like look, alert, uh, level 35 boss, or like this, which is that little alien thing that I showed you guys earlier uh, when, I w when I went over the bubble. Another thing about the bubble is that uh, you don't really need it if you're like on mobile or computer. You can literally just jump on the grill onto the house and then down there. There's also another secret which leads to a bag badge which is up there. You go through this middle like window and then you can like touch it for the badge. Once you get the badge you can see it in your achievements which it will look like this. So there's like can of beans and like the picture of the sky and then this is like the UFO one which is uh, Franklin and the Probers. So as you can see he's now like uh, like went back to the ground so now we can kill him and then we'll get some XP. And sometimes you can also get gold from it which uh, could also be nice. So now I can I, I can show you guys what the mega bosses are. So the mega bosses are just for level 12. So you have to be level 12 t uh, to do your first boss, which is the Toxifer right here. Now the Toxifer um, also leads to like a mega boss we uh, tool that you can get. So if you go to the weapons, and then um, you talk to this NPC, then don't really like listen to what he says. Um, just go to shop and then um, press next. Now it will like show all these uh, things. And the first one is the Carrion Lord, which is the first botch, which is the Toxifer. And then like it shows like the Thunderclap, Headsman, Harbringer, Ripper, and Retributor, which is the one I'm going to get after I get level 75, which is the requirement. So the requirement for Toxifer is level 12, and the requirements for Anointed One is level 20, uh, level 50, and level 75 for Kyrima. And then, like, there's, like, a little dungeon here that you have to get for something. I'm not sure what it is. And then if you go in here, there's, like, a little secret kind of thing that you can go in here. And then these are, like, the other little uh, bosses that you go against uh, to get those last two little mega bosses, uh, mega boss things. Wait, is there someone else in there? Oh, I didn't even notice. Um, so let's get back to the mega boss that we're going to be doing. So we're going to do the Toxifer, which is level 12. So you just go through the portal and it will teleport you. And then there's this little timer that will go on. And then once the timer stops, then this, um, it uh, starts. The battle starts. So I'll just go over a lot of things about this boss. So since you're a beginner, you don't have uh, such good weapons. You'll only have the Claymore Claymore, which I'll show you. It is this right here. This is the Claymore Claymore. So this right here, um, it's, 
it's really fast like it like hits pretty fast um it's like not too bad but it's kind of bad just like for the level you have and uh once you defeat the boss with the claymore claymore or whatever you want to use to defeat it then you get um its weapon that it holds So you fight this boss to um, to get XP once you finish, and you just like hit him to do damage to him. Um, like you can't really do anything else; you have to hit him. Like you can't like shoot him or any other whatever, whatever like whatever you think might be in this game, like like little, like blasters or whatever. Um, so this boss is pretty, just for its, um, just for its level. Because it's level 12, but that's pretty low level. So, I just killed it. So, there's actually two phases. That's the first phase. But there's also little runes that um, would come up, but they kind of changed it. Now it's like a little black hole that like absorbs into like a bigger black hole and then, yeah. So it has that the weapon that you get right there. It has the weapon you get from uh, defeating the boss right there. So you can just hit him when he's like vulnerable, I guess you could say. Like when he's not really moving. And also you can just hit him like while he's like attacking you too sometimes. And also if you die you have the little safe zone. Like so like use that as your advantage when you're trying to defeat him. Ah. I'm kind of bad at doing that. Um, but like just like a good tip. Like just make sure you're running away. Um, if you have the safe zone like always like use your advantage with the safe zone um to try to kill him and got him and just so you know like it these lasers don't hurt you when after you finish the boss so like don't be scared of going on this like as you can see i'm not taking any damage but yeah that's uh that's pretty much everything that you need to know for um for the tutorial and bye i hope this helped you and uh guns crushing out